Hey guys, welcome back to CheatSheetPros.com. Today is Friday, March 18th, and I wanted to go ahead and pop up another video for some NBA player props and prize picks. I apologize, I didn't get a lot of videos up this week. I was extremely busy at work with all the PTO for spring breakers. And then I got sick a couple days ago, so I've been feeling a little under the weather. So I've got three NBA prize picks that I'm gonna go over that I really like. As always, pull up our NBA cheat sheet and go to this last seven tab, and then you can sort by the last seven average versus the difference, and then start looking up these players in here. So there's a lot of plays that I like today, but I've got three that really jump out that I want to go over. Also, keep an eye on price picks. They have some really good discounts. They did four of them yesterday for March Madness. And I believe they all four went, for example, here's Jabari Smith, but you can see this one's going to go off in the next 10 minutes. And they discounted his PRA from 28.5 to 25.5, and, and he's been over that in five straight games. So I always go in and sprinkle some with these props that they do, because most of them are gimmies. A lot of them are winning. So I've dug through this tab, and I took a look at some props that come up, and I have another free throw prop. So without... Going through all of that, let's go ahead and take a look. The first one is going to be Reggie Jackson. Whoop, we got to go over to NBA. So the first one I'm going to look at is Reggie Jackson, and we're going to look at his assist over five and a half. So you can see he's been over this in four of the last five games. He's averaging 7.4, and he has 18 over the last two games. Now when we pull up his game logs, instead of pulling up the sheet, I went ahead and did a screenshot so it would make this a little bit easier for you to see. So we can see over here, he's been over this in 13 of the last 15, over five and a half assists. Nine, nine, seven, seven, nine, six, 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 14, eight, nine, eight, eight. So this is a number he is consistently going over. So Reggie Jackson over five and a half assists was the first one that really jumped out at me. So you can take these three and put them with any of the discount plays and have a four man power card and run it several times. The second one I want to take a look at is Pascal Siakam. He's been up and down on the year, but his points prop of 23 and a half, I like him to go over. He's averaging 27.2 points over the last five games with 31, 27, 33, and 25. And he's going up against a Lakers team that is just absolutely terrible right now. Now they did just play a couple of days ago and you can see here on March 14th, uh, they played and he put up 27 points in 34 minutes. So he was also over that. In the last eight games, he's been over this number seven times. So he's on a seven and one overrun. And the one game he did miss was against uh, San Antonio, but he did have 20. So he's consistently getting up before then, he was kind of up and down. He was in a little bit of a rut. So he got hot up here, 30-35, and then he kind of went in this rut, and now he's kind of riding high again. So we like him to come out and score over 23.5 points against these Lakers. The third prop that I have is going to be a free throw prop for you tonight. So we are undefeated on free throw props, so take that with a grain of salt. But I like DeJounte Murray over four. So over the last 10 games, the Pelicans are middle of the road. They rank 17th in fr uh, free throw attempts allowed by the opponent team. Sorry, I just took some cold medicine and my brain's floating a little bit. But what I like is the last four games, 8, 9, 8, 6. He has been killing this number, so 4 even gives us a push. So I wanted to go ahead and pull up his game logs and take a look. And let's blow this up here. So DeJounte Murray, over the last six games, he has 8, 9, 8, 6, 1, and 7. So he's got a 5 and 1 overrun going up against a team that's middle of the road in free throw attempts. Prior to that, he was about 50 50. You know, he'd hit one, go under, hit one, go under, hit one, go under. But since he's been getting to the line quite a bit, we like that. So I like him to go over four. So just to recap, my favorite props are DeJounte Murray over four free throws made, Reggie Jackson over five and a half assists, Pascal Siakam over 23 and a half points. Those are my favorite three. Now, if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to bounce a couple more off of you just that popped out at me. So Devin Booker free throws was one that I looked at, and you can see here under four would be very interesting. 
I went back and looked at his last 12 games, and so eight. he's on an 8-4 and four under play. He's only went over that four times, and he's been under this in four of the last five games. Um, Chicago's on the higher third of free throws, opponent free throw attempts, but um, Booker, for some reason, just doesn't shoot a lot of free throws. He had a couple of games where he had six, seven, eight, but other than that, it's like one, two, maybe three, so four and under. Um, that doesn't look real bad if you need an extra leg on your card. Um, another one that I was looking at are double doubles. I didn't realize this was even on price picks. I'd never seen it before, and then I saw some people sharing screenshots. So Harden's an interesting one. I was going to take him over because he's usually uh, lock for 10 assists, but Embiid is questionable tonight, so I kind of stayed off of that. But if Embiid does play, I don't mind taking him for a double-double. And then DeAndre Ayton, he's hit this. He's had a double-double in four of the last six games. It is a little bit tougher matchup going up against Chicago, but Chicago has been struggling recently. And then a couple others that jumped out for assist plays was DeJounte Murray once again. His number is 9.5, and, and he has been over this in three of the last four games. And I like you that he's getting a couple under his belt with 12, 12, and 12. Um, getting over this and this should be a game that's back and forth and scores a lot of points um, another one that I looked at was CJ McCollum um, with Brandon Ingram out I really want to look at his points um, and I just realized he was out so I'm going to go back and look at the games when Ingram's out what McCollum does but 32 32 um, he's got the ability to get over this but I'm going to do some more research on that game because I like that total but his assist did jump out at me with 9, 8, 11, and 9 over the last four games. He's averaging more than that. Uh, but again, with Ingram out, I want to go back and see kind of what he's done with Ingram off the floor, if he's still getting over that number or not. And then uh, I had one more points win that jumped out at me, and that was Marcus Morris. And so Marcus Morris points. It is a tough matchup against Utah, but he's been killing this number with 22, 31, and 27 in three of the last four games. He's someone I think you can take a look at for the Clippers. Again, I don't like taking a lot of players that are on the losing team. And these were not out yet. Let me see if they're up yet. One of them to keep an eye on, um, Jalen Green. His assist should be two and a half. If that pops on price picks or your sports book, he's been over that nine out of the last 10 games, and he's on a 5-0 and overrun. And the other, other one is Keldon Johnson. Over five and a half rebounds. You can see Price Picks already has this at six. And for five and a half, he's been over that in nine of the last 10 games. I didn't look at six, but you can see here he's been over it um, in three of the last five and pushed twice. That was one that popped on this other database I'm using. And then I wrote down someone for three point attempts made, but honestly, I can't read it and I'm too lazy to look it up right now. Um, DeJounte points. This one seems to be one that's consistently hitting over 23 and a half. You can see here 26, 30, 27, 25, 26. He's consistently going over that number and going up against the Pelicans. That should be a high scoring game. And Nito, okay, they did post this one. They didn't have it earlier. Nito assist. I like this one over three and a half. He's got six, seven, and five over the last three and four and four. So he's been over this in five straight games. He's averaging 5.2, so that's one I'm going to highlight. When I was writing some of these down, price picks didn't have them, and they always screw me by putting them up while I'm filming the video, and then they're up there. So I like Nito. That would probably be the fourth leg on the card I would do. Durant assist is another one that pops up. Six and a half. He's been over this in five straight um 10 7 9 7 7 so he's one that i would take a look at there's no Kyrie tonight since they are i think they're at home yeah they should be at home so Kyrie's not playing so durant should basically take over because brooklyn really needs to win because they're chasing a shot to make the playoffs um and then siakam if his three-point shots made so they don't have it, but they have him over one and a half three-point attempts or three-point shots made. He's been over that in several of the games, hitting at least two. So that's one that I would take a look at. So again, 
Um, my favorite three are Siakam points over, Jackson assist over, DeJounte free throw attempts over, and then I would throw Nito assist over if you want four. And then for your fifth card, I'd either do like a Durant assist, Durant points, or look for these discount plays that Price Picks does for March Madness. They'll have, I'm assuming they're probably going to have four more throughout the day. I follow them on their Twitter and I turn on notifications. So they always pop up when they've got one and say, hey, this is our next discount play. And so I'll usually go on, look at it, and most of them I'll throw into a card. So I'll probably have a lot that write into the NBA tonight. So anyways, I'm going to go sit down, watch some NCAA games. I posted the screenshot of my NBA best bets. Thank you for everybody that joined our prize pool and our lifetime membership contest. Um, those are going to be a lot of fun to follow. And um, yeah, have a good day, guys.